Insanity IBG? Hello, of Insanity IBG. Nice to make your acquaintance. I am some guy named Nate. I'm gonna get right into it. Last episode, we died to the orcs. The orcs. The orcs. Orc is an acronym which stands for obese, raunchy communists. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's a cool acronym for orc then? Um. The oppressive reality coach. Oval retarded cats. <laughs> I'd like to see one of those. It's like fly past the screen. Dude, what if there was cats that were in the shape of ovals? What would you do? Would you buy an orc? I've seen cats in the shape of ovals. ovals. They're called oh, they're called tubby cats. Tubby cat, tubby cat, what are they feeding you? See, I can make friends references. I just tweaked it slightly. Oh my god. So, let's get the possession. Oh man, people like my memes. That's good. You know, kids, if people start liking your memes, you, you hit a good place in the world. It's not true. Make yourself happy, then make memes. Believe in your dreams, make memes. If you were to make an inspirational quote, Vince, what would your inspirational quote be? Be you. Just be you? Is that what you're telling yeah. all your toe plant? Yes. Be yourself. Be yourself. Express yourself. Do 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 Express yourself. I do it. There's also a hip hop song that heavily samples from that song, but I don't know what it's called. You know? We were talking about that on an earlier episode, I think. You. 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 <laughs> That's what I was doing. Did you, did you like the Soldier Boy? Like, you know, soldier yeah, it was Boy catchy, but... There's a song like that every single summer. It's a hip-hop song not meant to be good, but meant to, uh, so that people just sing the fuck out of it and it gets old really quick. You know? Yeah. Like the one this summer was uh, Rolex by AO and TO. And by the time this video goes up, they'll be no longer relevant. You know? I just wanna roll really or there's the, your, your favorite song. Which one? Despacito. <laughs> I hate that song so much. I met this crazy bitch named Despacito. He said she wanted to see my burrito. And I told her I live in Puerto Rico. This song's awful though. It is very bad. Just because it's overplayed and it literally is just like seven choruses in a row. I think there's like one verse in the entire fucking song. Yeah. Good song structure is intro, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, either a bridge or a solo, chorus, chorus, done. You know? Or you can do chorus, alt, chorus, so if like the chorus is slightly different than the third chorus. You know? That's a good song. Or you can do what metal does and just have a shit ton of verses. You know? Ooh. Nice. <laughs> What, what is your, uh, you watched Star Wars Episode 7, correct? I have. Okay, who do you think General Snoke is, the wrinkly hologram guy? Is it supposed to be somebody? Yeah, it's supposed to be someone from the Star Wars universe, and they're going to reveal it when the 8th movie comes out. I've heard a lot of my friends' theories. Some people think it's Palpatine, which is stupid. So, yeah, it's, it's stupid. Some people think it's uh, General Plagueis, who was Palpatine's mentor. That would be cool if it was that. I can see it being that. Some people think, uh, I like making up dumb fan theories. It's Anakin. No, you're wrong. It's Anakin. In my opinion, the Senate is wrong. I've got the high ground, Anakin. You'll never win, Anakin. And it's over. That's how, uh, you and, what's your favorite Ewan McGregor movie? Mm, the Island? Mm. That's a great movie. I love that movie. I'm gonna find my clone, Ewan McGregor! What are you doing over there, Ewan McGregor? I'm you, Ewan McGregor! Jesus Christ, Ewan McGregor! That's how he sounds. Mm. I like how Liam Neeson was Qui-Gon Jinn. I think, I think that is the only movie Liam Neeson has died in. Like, you can't kill Liam Neeson. Yeah, no, he died in... I mean, it's, I guess it's, old, it's an older movie now, so... Uh, you spoil it. So I can spoil it. Yeah. The Grey. Oh, yeah. Everybody, right. everybody dies in The Grey. <laughs> 
I remember that movie. Sorry if you didn't know that out there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry for this handful of people who've never watched The Grey, but it's been out since like 2011, so you had time. Yeah, you had plenty of time. Yeah. It looked, it looked decent. It looked like, I mean, it's, it's like in the same category as like The Revenant and like other movies when one character is like, oh Jesus, I'm gonna die. I have to survive for fucking 127 hours. Oh yeah. My wife refused to watch that movie. <laughs> well, I guess James Franco cuts his arm off. That's the whole movie. Okay. James Franco goes high hiking, gets his arm crushed, and cuts his arm off at the end. You know? Yeah. There you go. There's the whole movie. I mean, the same oh. Danny Boyle, I think his name is, is the director. He also directed Slumdog Millionaire. I've never seen that. Before. Really? That is a really weird fucking movie. Because I had to watch it in film class in, like, the ninth or 10th grade. And I had to write a report about, like, all the symbolism in it. Yeah. But, like, the entire movie... I, I, I explained this movie badly, so to all the Slumdog Millionaire fans out there, I'm sorry. But, basically, it goes to, like, the indie, the Hindi version of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. And then they're like, for 5,000 rupees, which one of these is not a color of Eminem? And you're like, oh, this is easy. And then when he thinks about the answer, he has a horribly traumatic flashback that makes him think of the answer. So there was a drug lord that was selling him and other children as slaves, and he always ate M&Ms. So that's how he remembered what the color of the M&Ms oh was. That's so stupid. Yeah, and it, every single question's that until he gets like the half a million dollar question, and then they're like, we'll be right back. Oh, everyone applauds. And then like some bodyguards pull him aside and beat the shit out of him. They're like, there's no way you could have known all those questions, you know? Yeah. It's really fucking stupid. And then his brother gets shot in a bathtub full of money for some reason. If that's the only way to go. Yeah. <laughs> so as soon as you're, you're you're dying, like you're on your deathbed, you're like, somebody give me a bathtub full of money. Yeah. <laughs> Throw me in there. I just want to die on a bathtub full of money. Because <laughs> it's funny. It's, it's funny. funny. <laughs> money is funny. <laughs> some soda went down my lungs, but that's fine. It only cut two years out of my life. It's all good. But no, Vince, uh, if you want to watch Slumdog Millionaire, I kind of spoiled it, but, I mean, it's a, it's a decent movie. I kind of hated it, but the symbolism was that uh, the main character's older brother who died in a bathtub full of money. Like, his entire life, he was screwing his brother over trying to get money. So it's symbolic. He died protecting money. You know? So I guess you can look into that. But literally every other aspect of it is stupid. Like, there's one part of the movie uh, when he starts getting sold as a, ch as a child slave. Um, the owner of the children purposely gets a hot spoon and like shoves it in their eye to blind them so that people feel sorry for them and buy them as slaves because they're blind children and they need help. The movie's really fucked up, but it's good. Damn it. Well, down goes Gray Shirt. I believe in you though. You got Skelly, you got Sterling. Sterling is still in the game, and he's a he's a powerhouse. And we still got Skelly somehow. I believe, Vince. Nice. Dude, Sterling, I'm so glad we bought him some nice arrows. Damn it, Sterling. Now I'm upset. Mom and Dad bought you these new arrows. You're just wasting them. You're shooting them at orcs. What is with you? Mm. Your mom wanted to get you an Xbox. I said no. You wanted a bow and arrow instead. <laughs> and then Sterling starts attacking with an Xbox. He's like, take my Xbox. So it's bashing some orcs in the skull with it. It's stupid. I, I bought some Taco Bell today and I bought their $5 box. Yeah. Uh, and they have a contest. No, they have a contest now so that you can win an Xbox One X when it comes out if you enter a code. So I, I entered the contest. 50 bucks says I don't win anything but spam text messages. That's what happens. It's like they get you. Yep. Are you serious? You can hit them for the side damage? Oh my god. Jesus. Yeah! Oh, I forgot, doesn't the donut shoulder pads hurt when someone attacks? Um, that's that? the gray shirt. shirt. That's gray shirt, got it. That's a good buff, though. Dude, everybody, point your toe at the screen and get ready to hit the like button. Point your toe at the screen and get ready to hit the like button. I think that's one of the jokes I always do on my show, Vince, is I'll say something and then I'll say it with more inflection. Beautiful hit, almost 15 men. That was beautiful. Like, like, yeah, have to do it like this, Vince. Oh my god, we got a critical hit just now. Oh my god, we got a critical hit just now. That's how you build the hype. You say it twice. You know? When you're your own hype man, nice. When you're your own hype man, there's always hype. 
Oh my god, everybody. Everybody. The final, never mind, the final <laughs> blow is about to happen. Yeah, Did he just let out gas on that one? Yeah, he Did he just let out gas on that one? <laughs> <laughs> there you go, you're mastering the hype. Oh, look, we got 15 orchestras. Nice! <coughs> what do the orchestras do, though? Uh, I've been giving them to uh, main character Joe because he got the crossbow. Yeah. Oh, nice. They're a little bit, they cause a little bit more damage, but mm -hmm. they are less accurate. Got it. Makes sense. Mm. Mm. Continue on with the quest. So, that beat that quest. Nah, nah. Do we, uh... Do you want to press on to the village? Do you want to save again? Let's... Uh, I know it does some auto-saves, but let's just... Um, auto-save over... Over that one. Yeah. You got the content. It's in the bag. Eat I think that... Let's just call that an episode. I'm not like sure that? how long that was. That's uh, probably like 11 minutes. Maybe I'll cut it into the last episode. I don't know what how yeah, editing is going to go, you, but... Editing uh, will be magic. So everybody, we'll see you guys in the next episode of Dwarf Run. We would like to thank you from the pit of our jimmies. If you like this video, hit the like button. With go your toe. With your toe. Go subscribe to me. Go subscribe to Vince and make everyone's day a little bit better. And on that note, everybody, thank you so much for watching this adventure in... The, the Dwarf, Dwarf Run. Run! Later, dudes! <laughs>